Hello everyone. I'm hoping this is recording. I'm doing it off of my phone today. Um, let me put on, I don't know how well you can see. Uh, let me just put on my light. I got it on the lowest setting. Uh, yeah. So, oof. I made an I made a video yesterday, but I it was like a two hour long video. It was too much. Uh, so I decided um, I'm not going to use that video because for an hour I was rambling and showing you things from my haul. Um, that I got, but then it was like very random. So <laughs> I decided, uh, no, nobody's going to want to hear this. So I, uh, I decided not to do it. Okay. Let me get down to business here. Um, I want to show you, um, I've been doing the 52 day, the 52 tags challenge. And I wanted to show you, I hope you can see this. Um, I wanted to show you what what I've accomplished so far. Um, I'm not great at putting all this stuff together. Plus, I'm limited on supplies. If I had everything I really wanted to, I think my tags would turn out a lot better. Um, but this is the first tag from um, the hashtag 52 tags challenge or handmade. Um, this is the first one, which was white. And then this is the second one, which was the hot. And then I just, this is kind of like a bohemian. I love this tie dye and all that um, type of stuff. And I use one of, one of my new stamps that I got. And, um, and then this was number eight. So this is one and two, but I haven't done three to seven yet. I'm in the process of getting that put together. Um, this is eight, which is the, um, let's see, French knots, uh, bullion. No, these are bullion right here with, with the little stems and the, excuse me, and the French knot on the end. And these are the, the pit, the pistol ones. So I, then you can't see them that well, but I haven't done these stitches. So. It's just my first time, at least in this manner. I've done embroidery when I was a kid, but, you know. And this is number nine, and this is uh, just uh, bits and pieces. And I didn't have a gift from anyone to stick on my tag. I couldn't think of anything uh, or anything small enough that I could put on here. So I decided um, not to put a gift. I just did the, um, the bits and the pieces. And this one I'm very proud of. I think this is the best one. I did the Suffolk puffs with the fly stitch and I just didn't, um, you know, material with lace. And this one is lace and Suffolk puffs. So I put the information on the on the back of the card, and then I did these little, um, and like, I don't know what you call them, straight stitches, you know. And then I did uh, French knots on the suffix. I hope you can see this, and I hope that my can't my um, my uh, <sighs> I can't even think. My phone is not messing up with the going in and out of um focusing okay so that's out of the way let me see what time it is it's 11 let me check the time i want to keep my eye on the time okay. it's 11 22 so i'm hoping to keep this to a half hour if possible so that'll be Let's see. Let's say eleven twenty-five is the point of when I'm gonna, you know. So eleven twenty-five, uh, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. 
uh, 55. I think that's correct. Okay, let's just figure it out till about rough estimate 12 o'clock. So that'll be about 35 minutes, I think. Oh my goodness, that tastes good. I haven't been drinking coffee in the morning. Uh, it's only 1130 here. It's still morning, but usually when I, oops, sorry about that. I kicked the, I'm trying to move some stuff because my feet are, okay. And I like to put my bucket right below where I'm sitting. So when I'm fussy cutting or whatever, I, all the scraps fall in there. Okay. So this is what I'm doing. I saw uh, Tina, I think, her, yeah, Tina from Scrappy Dappy Duda, I think her, I think that's her channel. I'll link it in, in my description. But anyway, she was making these stamps, faux stamps, and I've seen a lot of other people make them. But like some of the stamps that I'm doing, like I got an idea to make a stamp that is oval. And I know it's bigger, but I thought this would be fun. And then I made this one. I, they, they're not decorated yet. I'm in the process of decorating them. And I did a, um, a feather. I know that's really not a stamp shape, but I thought that was cool. Even if, um, you know, you put it on a book page or something, I probably, I don't know if I'm gonna stamp it or not. I might leave it like it is, I, I haven't decided yet. Anyway, yeah, I got these uh, little um, tags that I I I um I got from um, oh my god, I can't remember her name. I don't know. I I was searching so much, but I got these little tags. I bought these little tags, and um, I wanted to make. Um, actually, they're. They're bigger than this. They're on a on a big piece of paper, but um, I shrunk them. So, because I wanted to use smaller pieces in what I was doing. So, yeah. And I'm just adding stuff to them on top. Like on these bunnies, I gave them, um, I put floral um, wreaths, like, garland around them and I gave them um flower hats on the bunnies you can't really see it that well but I altered it you know I I'm layering stuff on and on this little um I think this is an egg in the in the grass I think that's what that is anyway um I'm going to put that right here you know or I might even I don't know, I might put it over, over that, the words, just to do something different. I think I'm going to do that. So I got myself a little, I bought this kit actually of all these different, I love Elmer's. I actually got gallons of Elmer's glue if I have, if I run out and I need it for gluing. Um, but this craft bond glue is, is very good. I've got the liquid. I've got the see-through, like the clear. I've got art glitter glue, too. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring my art glitter glue over here. One sec. Just in case I need it. Um, yeah, here's the... Um, here's the bonding, the craft bond. Um, this is a clear... And you can use these for photos and all that. They're acid-free, which I like. And I really like Elvis. I know some people don't. Um, I know the art glitter glue is good in it. Um, I don't know. It's not supposed to make things get crinkly, but I found it does sometimes. I think it depends on how much glue you're using, too. Oh, that coffee's so good. Okay, let me just show you, like here's some cutouts. I'm probably gonna make a tall stamp with this one. Hi, my friends. 
I'm so sorry. The video ended at 10 minutes. Um, I'm not going to record any more on this. I'm, this is, I'm all new to this film. we on the go on my phone. So I'm just going to let this video go through and get uploaded because um, I don't want to keep messing with this. But anyway, thank you so much for watching me make stamps and showing you my 52 tags handmade for this week, number 10. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.